Hi, my name is Christian and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can get anything you want just by using your mind. So today I'm going to show you three steps that you can use in order to attract anything you want, whether you want a great career, a great relationship or a better life in general, these three steps will lead you to the results you want. Let me explain these three steps for you. In step one, you have to gain more awareness of yourself. You basically need to be more observant of your thoughts and your actions and the coherence between the two uh, so that you know you are on the right path to fulfilling your goals. In step two, I'll show you three extremely useful tips that you can use so that you'll reach your goals in a much more effective and resourceful way. I personally use these tips or techniques or whatever you want to call them myself. In the third and the final step, you'll have to get more of what you want. It's that simple, folks. So let's get into it. The most fantastic thing about your mind is that it can convert ideas into life. And believe it or not, this happens all the time whether you're aware of it or not. You might ask yourself, hmm, am I not aware of all the things I'm doing? Well, according to an experiment done by psychologist John Barg, you are not. In this experiment, two groups of students were asked to assemble four word sentences from a set of five words. For one of the groups, half of the scrambled sentences contained words related to elderly such as forgetful, gray, wrinkle, bald. When the students were finished with the word assembling, they were sent to another room. Now, the purpose of this experiment was to measure the time it took for the students to walk from room A to room B after finishing the word assembling. The results made it clear that the group who had used words related to elderly had walked slower compared to the group who had used words that were random. This result is amazing. The students didn't get any information about the experiment on beforehand and when they were asked about the sentences that they had put together, they couldn't recall any specific theme to them. So what happened to the students is that the idea that they were exposed to led them to take a specific action without consciously knowing it. Short story told, by reading words related to elderly, they also began to act like old people. This is a real-life example of how we convert ideas into life without even knowing it. This is only one example of how we act unconsciously. Of course, this happens maybe thousands of times during the day. And this is why I want you to become more aware of what you're feeding your mind with and how you're acting. Learn how to be more observant of yourself. If you're focusing on the things that you want to achieve or manifest in life, you will get there, you will get what you want. You just need to nurture and give energy and focus to the right things. So that was basically step one. <laughs> Let's take a breather there. Um, I hope I don't bore you. Well, that was step one, so let's get over to step two. Now I'm going to give you these three extremely useful tips that you can implement right away so that you can uh, reach your goals and manifest whatever you want uh, much faster and much more effective. The first tip was actually to become more aware of yourself and that was step one, so I'm not going to talk a lot more about that. Tip number two, use the SMART model. The SMART model is something we use when we're uh, going to define our goal in a very concrete and precise way. So what I want you to do now is to grab a sheet of paper and write down the letters S-M-A-R-T in a vert vertical, um, in like a vertical ladder. Each one of these letters stands for one word. It stands for simple, measurable, achievable, result-focused, and 
timed. Um, and these are the five things that your goal is going to be. Your goal is going to be very simple, it's going to be measurable, achievable, result focused and you want to reach your goal within a certain amount of time. So besides simple, I want you to sum up your goal in one sentence. What is the main thing that you want to achieve? What is the most important thing about your goal? When it comes to measurable, I want you to write down uh, what you have to do uh, in order to reach your goal. Write down uh, the three most important actions you have to take in order to reach the goal. Beside achievable, you have to write something down that you can put into action right now so that you will get one step closer to reaching that goal of yours. Beside result focused, I want you to write down uh, one or two things that may help you to maintain your focus when it comes to working on reaching your goal. And finally, beside timed, I want you to write down uh, how much time it will take you to reach that goal. And it would be even better if you have a specific date. The third tip that I want to share with you um, is the law of attraction. I want you to learn the law of attraction. And if you've never heard about the law of attraction before, I will explain it to you very easily. The law of attraction says that like attracts like. Whatever you give a large amount of focus and energy to, you will attract to you. If you look at your friends that you have today, there's a reason why you have those friends. It's because you have something in common. Like attracts like. So if you raise your standards or, or if you change your perception of things, you can attract new things to you. I find it very difficult to explain the law of attraction for you in a very precise way. So uh, I'll put another YouTube video in the description below so that you can check it out. Um, so that's the second step. Now if you feel confident with step one and step two, you are ready to move over to step three. And in step three you're going to go out to the world and get whatever you want, manifest whatever you want. Um, so thanks for watching, I hope this helped you. Uh, please share link and subscribe to become your strength today. Thank you.